Hi, welcome to physics lesson. Uh, today we will have a revision for chapter one point one by using e book. Okay, electric charge and electric fields. And uh, we know if I rub the comb, okay, it may attract a uh, hair. It may uh, attract um, running water. Okay, the force is called electrostatic force or we can say uh, this is a coulomb force or electric force okay it will relate to electric charge and we have a concept that light charges repair uh, light charges repel and light charges attract okay and we know the outer part of our atom will be electron okay so if we walk something an electron will be maybe we move okay if the atom here if electron is removed now the atom will become positive okay because originally is neck is neutral okay one electron is missing so the remaining atom will become positive positively charged and the electron may be attached to another atom so you become negative charge negatively charged okay original neutral okay and we don't know which one would lose electron okay it just based on the observation uh, if electron uh, does not lose electron does not become positive okay so here uh, the positive will become negative since you you know it gains an electron charge cannot be created or destroyed okay we just only think about the movement of the electron unit of charge for the si unit si unit okay system of international unit okay uh, Oh, sorry, in the electional system of unit, okay, SI unit, we we'll use Coulomb. Okay, one electron has um one point six times ten to the power minus nineteen Coulomb. You can check this in the uh, worksheet. Okay, at the end of the um, exam paper. Okay, that means it's given in the public exam. Check point one. Okay, try. Okay, like you may see the, you may check the answer here. Insulator and conductor. Uh, if we have electron, free electron, so you become conductor. Or okay, low free electron, you be insulator. Very easy concept. Uh, with, if we uh, charge an object, can it attract? neutral that means uncharged object we will think about two cases one can the charged object attract conductor okay so you see this picture uh, aluminium foil which is a conductor okay the answer is yes because it's, uh, if the charge is uh, positively charged so electron inside the the free electron inside the aluminium foil would attract towards the uh, charging at uh, the charge walk okay here we will say uh, it's induced charge induced negative charge okay will attract towards the walk and um, positive induced charge Okay, relatively it will be positive uh, at the at the bottom of the um, aluminum foil because the electron move upward. Okay, so positive induced charge will be at the other side. That means here. Okay, and we know for electrostatic force if the distance, that means if and uh, the charge object 
the two charged objects, if they are closer to each other, the force will be larger. So here, attraction, as you, you can see, um, the board is positive. The, we attract negative induced charge. Okay, so here we have attraction. The attraction will be greater than the repulsion. Okay, so the net force will be attractive. You should know how to describe uh, this concept by yourself and in the exam. How about charge object? Can it attract neutral insulator? That means low field electron here. Okay, like you can see the picture. Maybe we think about uh, paper. Okay, here we use paper. Paper is an insulator. That means low field electron. The answer is yes. Okay, because electron within each atom can be pulled towards the positively charged wall. Okay, even electron uh, within an atom cannot move away from that atom, but it can move towards one point, okay, one, that means one end. Here you see the atom, the electron inside an atom, okay, here, attract towards the charge wall, okay. So the attractive force here, F1, would be greater than the repulsive force, F2, as the distance. between positively charged and charged object is uh, longer than the distance between negatively charged and the charged wall. Okay, so the net force will be attractive. Okay, so for every atom there will be a left, left force, uh, attractive left force. Okay, so the overall net force will be attractive. So, we have a conclusion. Charge object can attract. You may drop it down in your textbook. Charge object can attract. Neutral object. No matter the object is an in, a insulator or a conductor. Okay, this is the result, very important result in chapter 1.1. So maybe you can check the answer for chapter 2. Charging and discharging. Uh, we will use an electroscope to detect the electrostatics. For the electroscope, you see uh, we have metal parts here. Okay, and also we have a gold lift. Okay, now we may join like this. For the remaining part, you can think they are insulator. Okay, insulator. Okay, if a ch charge object here which is positively charged. Okay, so we will have negative induced charge move upward. Okay, so relatively at the, bot at, at, at the bottom of the metal part will be positively charged. So the gold leaf would rise because light charges repel. Okay, if we, if we move away the wall, so no negatively induced charge and positively induced charge, so the gold leaf will fall down. Okay? Gold leaf fall down. So this is a device to check the electric charge. Okay? Charge by friction. Okay, we can warp the copper wall by a, a cloth 
and then um, it can be detected by electroscope. Okay, the gold leaf rods. Okay, if the rod is uh, say if the rod now negatively new charge, uh, sorry negatively charge, so you will share the charge with the electroscope. Okay, so the gold leaf would rise. How about this case? You know this is revision, so uh, we have learned um, if I uh, touch the lithoscope by a finger, that means it's earth. Okay, so suppose the rod is negatively charged, so we have positive in this charge at the top of the electroscope. Because we have earth, the electroscope, so no negative induced charge as they go to the earth by earthing. Okay, so the gold leaf would drop in this case. Okay, this is the concept for earthing. Charge by sharing. Um, it depends on the surface area. Okay, if a charge ball touch with another neutral metal sphere, so the charge, uh, so you will share share the charge. Okay, after the sphere move apart, they will be all become negatively charged. Charge by induction. If the rod is positively charged, we can find a electrically induced charge closer to the rod. Positively induced charge away from the rod. You see there is no earthing here. So if we move away the rod, oh sorry, if we move away at these two fears, so one will become negatively charged and that will, will be positively charged. Irving. Okay, we know actually it means a charge by sharing, but Earth has a very large surface area. So for such sharing, actually it take away all the charge from the charge object. Okay. So uh, so for Earthing, there will be, we can say uh, it, it neutralized the charge object. No net charge. For, inside the ob charge object after earthing. We can use a finger to, to do earthing, okay? Because uh, you, you can regard a human as a conductor, okay? But we know uh, for the electrostatics, we only, the, the fact is uh, only the movement of electron. So if the ball is negatively uh, charged, so electron would go down to the earth, okay, through our body. If the ball is positively charged, so the electron may come from the earth and then neutralize the positively induced charge. Neutralize, okay. This is the key word. Here the special case, we may find this in DACMC. Okay, we have, uh, ch we, we call this a charge by induction and Irving. Okay, we have some step, we, we must follow all the step. Okay, if the sequence is not the same, the result will be changed. Uh, case one, uh, what A, okay, clo move closer to the sphere. So we have positive induced charge, negative induced charge, okay, uh, okay, uh, sphere is now earth, mo momentary by our finger, okay, so negative induced charge would go away through our uh, finger, okay, while the positively charged induced charge is attracted, is still attracted by the wall, 
so it cannot move away. It cannot be neutralized. Okay, now step three, we only have positively discharge in the sphere. Okay, case four, if we move take away the wall, so the ball now only have positively charge. Okay, this is called a charge by induction and everything. We have a machine to to uh, charge the object. This is called when the wall generator. Uh, here we have a rubber belt. You can uh, it would uh, rotate by a roller, roller plastic roller, and you are charged by friction. And the doom and uh, negatively charged and uh, actually electron electron would accumulate uh, in the doom metal doom. Okay. So we can have some experiment very funny. So if uh, we put some hair uh, attached to the doom, we will have light charges repel. So a uh, hair will stand on end. Hair stand on ends. Okay, stand on ends. Okay, if I put another Earth sphere, so what happened? We know negative, uh, we know electron accumulate on the doom. Okay, so after some time, many electrons accumulate, and for the charge object, we have positively in this charge. Okay, low negative in this charge in the uh, metal sphere, as is Earth. Okay, Earth. Is Earth. Okay, so if the elect electrostatic force is quite large, the electron would pull towards the metal sphere by a strong electric force. Electrostatic force. Okay, electric force. So we will find spark here. As electron will collide with air molecules and making some sun, heat, light. So we call this spark. Okay. If it's connected to a light beam galvanometer, for a light beam galvanometer, you can think this is a very sensitive emitter. We would have an electron flow to the ground. Here, yeah, to the ground. Okay, electron flow. To the ground, so the electron. Oh, sorry. So the current will travel in this direction. Okay, the opposite direction. So the galvanometer will point to the left in this case, as current flow to the net. Okay, if if no current passing through the galvanometer, the light beam will at the middle. Okay, no current. So you can see um, the experiment, the result for, ex for the experiment, because uh, light charges share with the girl here. Okay, so the girl's hair stand on end. But for this experiment, as uh, the girl should as uh, stood on the ground with a. Uh, Sorry, we uh, so stand on the part six two. Okay. If we uh, stood on the ground with a bare feet, a bare feet. The charge cannot be accumulated, because the charge will fall to the ground. So here would not stand on end. Okay, if a uh, uh, pup puppy two, if a boy stand it on the ground. Touch her. What happened? Here, yeah, boy. Touch her. What happened on the ground? So you know, 
the boy actually will become a conductor. So everything happen. So the charge uh, on the doom will fall to the ground. Okay, girl's hair would not stand on end because of everything. Okay, through uh, the girl and the boy. Trap on three. Maybe you have a try. I will think question one is uh, the most important uh, question. Okay, you can find the answer here. For the earth, actually, we can touch uh, any pawn for question one. Okay. We may have some uh, application for initial settings. Since we know charged object can attract neutral object, even the object is conductor or insulator. So it can use it can be used for um electrostatic uh, precipitator. Okay. E feel E feel. If I put a large charge here, okay. A uh, scientist will think and uh, something happened in the region in this region in this region if i put a small charge say test charge okay small q here what happened which is positive charge okay what happened so we know it will repel right so scientists will think that in this region is covered by electric field okay and Scientists define electric field start from positively charged. Okay, and the field lies it has direction. And uh, point from positively charged to negative charge. And uh, for positively attached charge here, here, positively charged here, the electric force has the same direction as electric field. Okay, if for a negative charge, say small minus Q here, so it would have this different direction, the opposite direction as the E field lies. And one important thing, the density of field lies here, if it's closer to the charge, the, dens uh, the density of field lies would, would be larger. So that means the E field is larger, okay? If it's far away from the charge, the E field will be smaller. And with an equation, after we study E field, the equation is F equal to QE. Okay, that's why uh, this is important to study E field. If we know the E field, we can times small charge here, small Q, then we know electric force the value of electric force okay electric field if uh, there are two charge so the electric field will be distorted like this we can use experiment to find out the um, pattern of electric field okay this is one experiment we will put some seed on the oil okay and we have some uh, we have EHT supply EHT supplies means it can provide a high voltage. Okay. But uh, very uh, low current. So it's not dangerous in uh, uh, for us. Uh, here, you see, if two positively charged uh, here, uh, will, the electric field will be distorted and the, at the center, you see, neutral point. Okay, what does it mean for neutral point? It means low E field. Okay, low E field. No electric field. If I put a small charge at the neutral point, there will be no electric force. Very easy. Because no E field. Okay, if, uh, with E field, we can calculate the electric force. Okay. So we can also find a neutral point if the two charges are both negatively charged okay here one negatively charged 
one positive charge, so we can find out the uh, electric field pattern. If I put a small Q here, we can determine the direction of electric force. Okay, if I put a small Q, but a uh, negatively charged, so the electric force has opposite direction as the direction of electric field. Okay. We don't need to draw 3D E field lines. Okay, we just need to handle it with um, 2D. Two plates, uh, two parallel plates. The E field will be uniform. Okay, but we will have some uh, etching effect here. Okay, but at the middle, it will be uniform. Uniform means constant, constant E field. Try checkpoint four. We can find the answer. Uh, checkpoint four, question four. But for this type question, you you can you 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 can have a technique. To solve this problem, we know uh, E field start from positively charged, and you can see uniform E field, so it must have a uh, parallel plates. Okay, so we can find the answer very directly, quite directly, after drawing these uh, two plates. Okay, practice one point one. Try MC. Okay. Chapter one point two, more about electric field. That means we have some calculation here, Coulomb's law. Okay. Now, uh, for the electric force, we can have the equation. This is given in the paper exam. Okay, it's labeled as D one. Okay, the first equation given in the EM topic, D one. F e equal to q one q two over four pi epsilon r square. Epsilon is given in the paper exam. Okay, it's only for free space. R is a distance between two charges. Okay, la, so very easy. Uh, after finding the force, we may uh, use, uh, we may uh, need to find out the component of force if there are two two charges. Okay, say uh, example six. You see, okay, we 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 should find the resultant force if there are two or three or some more charges in the system. Okay, we not we will not go for here. Check point five. Answer. Okay. So, we have learned the equation for electrostatic force. And the second would be, we need to learn about e electric field strength. Electric field strength actually means E field. It's defined as um, electric force per unit charge. Okay, so we have the equation F E or Q E. We will say this is a hidden equation. So, please remember. We always use this equation. It's not given in the proper exam. F E or Q E. So, after finding E, we can calculate F. Okay, for any tax charge. And for the E field, it will tell you that the direction of electric force. Okay, now here you see. We have D two equation. As we as we know D one equation, F equal to Q one Q two over four pi epsilon r square. Here, okay, and we know the hidden equation, F equal Q e. By combining these two equations, we get 
D two equation. Okay, for a uh, uh, for a charge, we can find the E field surrounding the charge. Okay, and the E field string is governed by this equation Q over four pi epsilon R square. Okay, we can find the E field and electric force by using D one D two equations. And we also have D3 equation. For parallel plates, we know E field is constant. Okay, here, constant. And E field equal to V over D. Okay, which is given in the third equation, D3, in the public exam. Okay, checkpoint 6. Don't forget checkpoint 6. Okay, you may check the answer now. Uh, with E field, uniform E field, we can calculate net force, so we can calculate acceleration, so it can be a projectile motion in this case. Oh, mixed with projectile motion. Okay, and exam link here, very important, you see. Uh, we have to resolve tension into X1 component, T y equal to weight, T x equal to electric force. Okay, and uh, electric force equal to Q e, e equal to V over D. So many equations here. Oh, but you can find this equation from the uh, exam. Okay, it's given. Electric potential energy. Okay, potential energy. Uh, we have learned gravitational potential energy in uh, form 4. Okay, we, very easy. If I pull an object upward, okay, with constant velocity, that means uh, the energy the energy change only changes the gravitational PE, but no KE change. The work done, the energy transfer, will equal to Fs. The force is mg, so mgh will be the gravitational force. Sorry, gravitational potential energy, mgh. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can use this for electric potential energy. If we have uh, two plates here, if we want to uh, move the positive charge here from the electric plate, okay, move upward. So the electric force required is QE. Okay, so the work done will be equal to Fs will be equal to QED. QED, work done. Okay, QED is electrical potential energy. Okay, if I release, okay, then the charge would uh, go down and trap back to the negative plate. Okay, we will say uh, if I move the charge up, it will store energy. The stored energy is electric potential energy. Okay, so gain in an uh, electrical potential energy is QED. Not difficult. And in uh, chapter four, chapter two point two, you have learned uh, voltage equal to energy per charge. So energy. Is QED, okay? So overcharge, so we have V equal to ED. So we can put E equal to V over D. We can put this equation here. Maybe uh, you, you can drop it down on your textbook. Uh, you, you need to um, think about it. Try trap point seven. You find answer here, okay? So you will be the end of chapter one. Uh, we may find one MC and one long quad in this chapter, and in DS in in our DSC paper in each year, okay? So main point, we can charge by friction, charge by sharing, 
charged by um, induction and we know the charge of electron we know the neutral object can be attracted to a charged object even is is an insulator or conductor we have learned earthing okay we have learned electric field around the charge okay after knowing the pattern we should know that uh, the direction of electric field okay and also for parallel plate the e field pattern is parallel parallel lines okay for chapter 1.2 you see the calculation the equations okay uh, log given for f equal qe uh, we have d1 equation d2 equation and also d3 equation okay electrical potential energy equal to qed because f fs okay fd so f equal qe so qed so that's all uh, i think try mc question this is it will be useful for um consolidate your concept for electro electrostatics try mc past paper question 19 20 21 okay i will think question 20 and 21 are very important okay Also, and try DSC practice paper. You may find the answer from the textbook or also find the full solution in e cards. Okay, if you cannot find it, tell me. 37. Okay, that's all. Self test here. Okay. Session A MC Session B you can check the answer here. 